What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is your boy, The Rye Nation, here. And today, I'm going to be doing a live review of the Amero Wood Carson Home TV Entertainment Stand. Now, I bought this item on Amazon for only $69. And the reason why I did that is because um, I needed, like, an entertainment stand that can hold, like, my games, like, my disc games and stuff. And so, this is the one thing I came across. Um for cheap it was $69 at the time when I bought it and uh, now it is probably 75 something I don't know but it's on Amazon I'll probably leave a link in the description I don't know if I will but I'm probably will so anyways I'm doing this live review and uh, so yeah so let's get into this um, I'm gonna show you guys the product so here we have it right here the Amera Wood home Carson entertainment stand or Carson home entertainment stand I don't remember but this is it right here, the very inexpensive item. And as you can see, this is sticking out right there. That's because it's kind of hard to charge the top one because these joysticks can't really slide in. But yeah, that's, but it fits in there. So yeah, um, this is how it is so far. Now this is a easy to assemble product right here. Um, See, like basically it shows you instructions, it comes in pieces, and it shows you a bunch of instructions to how to put it together, basically. And I did this all by myself. I, uh, you know, I put this all together myself. I didn't need any help. I knew what I was doing, and this is how it turned out, and it's pretty good. Now, note, this is for 50-inch TVs, but my TV up here is a 55-inch TV, actually. I thought it was a 50-inch TV, but that was probably my old TV I was thinking of, which was a 50-inch, but this is a 55-inch, but it doesn't matter. Because um, it still fits on there. I mean, five hundred five extra inches isn't gonna hurt anything. But so far, so good. You know, it works pretty good. You know, look, I even got like little bit shelves. I got some shelves that can fit all my consoles: my PlayStation Four, my Xbox One, my Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and my PlayStation Three. You know, so all my consoles fit comfortably there. There, and like I said, this is sticking out because. You know, this joystick won't go underneath. You know, if this, if this remote was taken out, then I could push it back in. But I'm charging both remotes because they both need to be charged. I guess they're on the red light. I need them on the green light soon. And then, you know, that's the same kind of charger for my PlayStation controllers. Uh -huh. So, yeah, um, this is this is a pretty cool item. You guys can buy this yourselves, and you can put them together. If you're really good at putting things together, then this is definitely the entertainment stand you want to buy. A very inexpensive item. It's actually a lot smaller than it kind of looks on TV. It does look a little bit small. I mean, not TV. Why am I saying TV? It looks smaller than what it does on, on um, Amazon, but it still works. It's still pretty good. You know, I'm able to fit everything. You know, so. And this is the cabinet with, with all my games in it. You see that? This might be a little bit hard to see because there's no light. But, yeah, those are my... My disc games for my PlayStation. And then up top, there are my remotes. You can't really see it, but I have uh, remotes up there. My controller is actually my PlayStation controllers. And there's a there's a, um, a headset in there, too. So, yeah. So, basically, I screwed everything on. You know, I screwed the hinges on right there. And I screwed this uh, this thing right here oh hey k uh wait you went back to that name oh so anyways as i was saying so i screwed this on right here and uh i did the same thing for this one and then this one um this one it has my playstation 3 games the other one had my playstation 4 this one's my playstation 3 games down here so it can it stores pretty well you know and uh up top are my controllers like PlayStation 3 controllers. See that? There's four of them in here. See, this is the P3 one. This is the generic controller. It's not the actual brand. I only have one that's like actual Sony brand in here. Let me see if I can grab it. Ah. So this, this one's the only Sony, Sony brand controller I have right now. And it was my dad's. Um, it was from my dad's old PlayStation 3, because his PlayStation 3 broke, or, well, not broke, but it just, it's crap right now. It doesn't run very well anymore. 
But this is like the first ever PlayStation 6 access controller that's ever been made for PlayStation 3. When it first came out, and Dad said I could have it, so that's pretty cool. So, that's pretty much where I put my PlayStation controllers as well. So yeah, uh, and, then, and then you know I was able to fit other things like uh, you know I was able to fit my PlayStation Four controller charger and my Xbox One. Okay, um, sorry for that short pause there. I'm not sure if it was still running, but yeah, um, there was a little bit of pause there because I got a phone call. I'm recording this on my phone, so so um, yeah. So like I said, my controllers are there. My my charger controllers fits nicely there. And it fits nicely there. Yeah, this one does not fit so nicely. I mean, it fits nicely if I don't have the controllers in, like or this one at least, like the top controller. If I took it out, then I could just push it in, and this one could be charging. But if I have to top, if I have to charge this top one, then I have to pull it out like this, which is pretty dumb. But you know that's okay. You know it's a little bit shorter, like from this. This space is a little bit shorter than this one. So, but yeah. Um. So yeah, this is basically the whole thing, you know, my uh, Merrowood, you know, TV entertainment stand, it's pretty good, I would definitely recommend this if you guys want to buy an inexpensive item, if you want to buy an inexpensive um, entertainment stand to put in your bedroom or put in the living room, if you have 50 inch TVs, or in my case, 55 inch TVs, you know, so I definitely recommend this, they also sell one for TVs that are 70 inch, those are a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more expensive to get the 70 inch ones, but you know, they're pretty good, you know, and they also sell angle ones if you want to put it like a, if you want to put the TV like on the angle of a wall, you know, like I have a wall that's an angle and we usually watch TV, I'd probably buy that kind if I, uh, you know, wanted to, but yeah, so that's basically for it for my review, and uh, you know, like I said, you guys, you should buy this, you should totally buy this, it's pretty easy to build, I kind of messed up at one point when I was trying to screw this in, I think, but... It, oh, it worked out anyway, so that's good. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. And finally had a chance to put together the Ultra Carson TV stand. Uh, put it together yesterday with a friend. Uh, it should have taken about 45 minutes. It took twice as long. Ran into a couple of issues I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm really thrilled it's put together. It's a really nice looking piece, and I'll tell you what a difference it's made in my apartment and living room here. A uh, couple of things that I had to challenge. One, the piece back here, this, uh, this piece but in the back, when we screwed it into the wood, the wood actually came out. It was like as if it was dried out wood, uh, but we got it to work, and uh, so it's fine now. And the other challenging situation is the bracket for the door for inside here so what happened was they were actually uh, where you need to screw in they weren't really holes so I had to really use some muscle I didn't have an electric screwdriver so uh, just be prepared you might find there's no holes I'm not sure what the engineering issue with this uh, if you are the manufacturer you might want to look into this issue because I think others have had the same problem so what you probably want to do is put the bracket in first and then attach it to the door. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Uh, it does come with a shelf for the inside. I haven't used it yet. Um, you can if you choose to use it. Uh, but really fashionably, this just looks beautiful. I have a 42 inch TV. I can hold up to a 50 inch TV. And it just, it just really is a beautiful piece. It comes in two different color versions. I got the Espresso. I think the other one's the black and cherry wood combination, which is interesting looking. But uh, all in all, it's just beautiful. And the company did a good job as far as labeling and following the instructions. But again, the challenge is, uh, was the manufacturing issues. Uh, if they could resolve that, uh, then especially with the holes where the door goes and, and the bracket, you'd be fine. So if you have any questions, let me know. Really looking forward to having this for many years. And if I ever want to upgrade my TV, at least I know I can go to a 50 inch and it would be a real nice size. So that's it for now. Uh, I did, by the way, record a time lapse of me putting it together. The person I 
put it together with didn't really want to be in the video so I cut some of the stuff out so I'll just share some of the uh, highlights of the time lapse with you and I hope you enjoy it and again let me know if you have any questions loving this new TV stand have a great day we'll see you on the next video take care